all right guys today we've just got a, a short video but hopefully it'll be very useful for you and it is just um because on Call of Duty Ghosts um, I've been playing quite a bit of squads which I'm really liking uh, I think it's kinda tactical it's not so tactical because a lot of the time it's about if you can play well enough to just get basically the victory for the whole team sort of but uh, the defense side is quite tactical and um, what I found was that I was playing on the same maps again and again and that's because a lot of people didn't know how to um, change the settings of like the default maps or how to um, choose like the uh, default change the game modes because um, it was always almost team deathmatch uh, on like uh, is it called siege? Uh, I think it's normally like siege shop front stuff like that um, so I researched into it because I wanted to find out how to change it uh, and I couldn't see any videos up so hopefully this will be one of the first videos well it probably won't be but hopefully you found it and is very helpful so um basically from this multiplayer menu which is just my default so I, I've just turned it on uh, you want to go to squads uh, Xbox Live squads uh, oh what? Oh, that's just something if you're getting the Xbox One. Um. Ah. Um. Okay, whatever. Um, what you do is you go to. Just ignore those, um, pop ups then. You go to Squad HQ. Uh, and this is basically it. You can create your own, uh, soldiers. Like, I have quite an aggressive team. I have three submachine gunners, I think, an assault, and two assault riflers. And then this guy's like a marksman rifle, or he has. The MSBS, which is like a, the longest range assault rifle, I think, um, which is kind of cool. You can check your leaderboards. Like, I'm doing quite good, but that's just a lot of the time, uh, just because I can play and beat six bots, and my team won't have to do necessarily very good. Um, I haven't been on safeguard yet. Just I haven't got around to it. Uh, you get squad your, your squad reports. Oh, I've been challenged a few more times. Uh, you see, I've been cha I've won three of them. Uh, so, um, yeah, I don't think that's the best map for me. So I'm going to change it to uh, I think it's called Stadium or something, because I have uh, an aggressive team. So you can change your squad name. I think mine's yeah Demo Gaming, just because that's the obvious thing. HQ mode, you can change between all those, which are kind of cool. Uh, base, you can change your map, which I'm putting mine onto. Where is it? I forgot what it's called now as well. Um, what is it? Strike Zone, that's it. Uh, that's a good map for my squad because I have quite an aggressive squad. Uh, and you can set your order so you can put um, whichever one's like the most important. So when I play, uh, so I think someone has to get kicked out. So it's the guy at the bottom. I take his place um, or something like that. Uh, yeah. So just put your like your most important ones that you always want to um have, and also I don't claim these names to be great. I thought of them in about a minute, and they're kind of weird. I know, but <laughs> I don't know. And also Overwatch, don't think of him as Overwatch because he's the guy with the shotgun. No, not a shotgun. The closest to a SMG, whatever. Um, and also I recommend. We are gone. Quit soldier. Uh, I recommend buying the first six, just because you can then customize them all. Like I have this guy that shoots down enemy choppers and stuff. Uh, this guy, uh, kind of close range people. Whereas if you get, uh, if you don't buy them, you're just getting default and you're getting hoping you get a lucky choice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really easy. Just go to your squad HQ. For me, you can play four modes. I mainly play squad assault. I've not really played these things yet. Um, stop, yeah, whatever. So that's it. Um, so hopefully this video has been, I don't know why I clicked my menu then, um, hopefully this video has been really useful. Uh, if it has, don't forget to like, favourite, comment, rate, subscribe. I think I've said them all. Favourite, did I say that? And share. I don't know what I've said. So I think that's all of them. And yeah. The outro might cut out here because it's kind of gone a little awkward at the moment. When I press stop, it kind of stops at a few seconds ahead, so I have to guess, right? If you get all the way to my final words, which are going to be like, I don't know, it means I have figured it out and I am now an official outro master. So, yeah.
Um, oh, I'm trying to think of something to say. I, I say adios. I've said au revoir once, but then it cut it out. What's another goodbye from another language? Um, I don't know. I do German. I should probably know that. But I can't think at the moment. So yeah. See you in the next video. Adios.